Hello beautiful family. Before I start, let me wish you a day filled with love and peace wherever you are in the world. And I want to talk about this because many people ask me, what do you feel is going on here? And of course they are referencing the epic changes to the system of Babylon and the story of mankind that we are all participating within. This human speaking to you has, has looked at this a lot and what I see is that I like to go to the source of the problem. Whilst helping people in poverty it's good to get them into business rather than give them food because then you get to the source of the problem. And right now in the story of mankind many are getting tripped up on the details instead of the source of the problem is how I perceive this. Now we had many persons shouting and screaming about the masks, which is a detail, it's not the source. Many people shouting and screaming about various restrictions and various different articles about uh, certain sciences etc. But these are details. Now are they irrelevant? No, of course not. But the source of the problem is what we need to find here. We need to find the source. What is the origin of this issue? And so, this is what I have come to see. And many will not want to hear this because hearing about the very origin of the problem is very difficult for people. It makes them very uncomfortable. And people feel they don't have time because they're programmed to be in the dopamine and in the action and in the fight or flight response. And so to hear someone talking in a more stable sense, saying this is the issue, and it's inside you, it's inside me, this is the issue. It sounds like it's not going to make any progress. But it is, from what I have witnessed, the only way we are going to make some progress from this is to acknowledge the foundation of the issue. And the foundation of the issue comes down to a simple notion which has existed for thousands of years. So inside humanity you have two types of human being. You have this human and this human. This human here, they have the same anatomy as this human here. They have the brain, the heart, the mental body, the emotional body, the spiritual body. They have all of that. But this human has used their brain to create a person, an image of a person inside them. A separate mental identity. And they allow the actions of their life to be governed by that separate mental identity. The person. They allow the image of a person their brain has created to govern their actions, meaning that they allow memories that they've clung to and formed opinions and images of to define the way they live in their life. It means they never relate with people correctly, they relate with their memory of the person, their image of the person. Ultimately this person is often quite dead to life itself, because this person is trying to know life through the separate mental identity and the person they formed within them. But life cannot be known by that person because the human is life. Now on this side, the other type of human, for whatever reason, has all the same as here, but they have let go of the person. And so they are a free vessel without a mental identity and they are governed by the energies and the forces that exist right here, right now, in the vitality of life, in the state of Eden consciousness, in the state of non-duality, the now, present moment consciousness. This person is governed by the fruits of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, this by Eden. And they exist, the two exist. And what happens is, this human being because they have created a person inside them, a mental character. They create a separation from the love, peace and contentment that this type of human is living in. Because this type of human is, is connected to an infinite supply of the love of God. It is there. The will of unconditional love is there. They are connected to that white light of creation. And it's largely unrefracted by the mind and the separation it creates. This person can't feel it. And so this human who carries the person within starts to search. The person is the reason they get separated from the love, 
of the white light of creation. We'll call it that. The, the, the construction of a person in the mind creates the amnesia and separation from this state this human's in. And so they start searching for this using the person. So the mental character is the reason the search begins and the mental character is also the search. And so the mental character is searching from a state of chaos and not sanity because it is uprooted from its core state, it's uprooted from its home. And so this human who has the person and the image of the person within them, it's like a tree that uproots from the forest and a sheet of glass appears between the roots of the tree, I've used this analogy before, and the soil. And the tree is running around on top of this glass and it, it can't feel the connection anymore to its home, the forest, to the soils of earth and the deeper connection beyond there. It can't feel it and so it runs around desperately trying to reconnect with that soil but the glass is in the way and so it has no empathy for the other trees because it feels no true connection to them. It can see that there's a relationship there intellectually but the connection is gone and so it runs around on that glass and it hurts the other trees, it's destroying the forest all in, in a desperate attempt to reconnect its roots to the soil. And this is the human who has the mental character searching. They are that tree on top of the glass. Now all of a sudden you take the glass away and the tree roots in the soil and oh, the love returns. The white light of creation connects back. The soil is connected to the tree and that rush of love comes through and the unconditioned love that is felt from there is felt within the tree as it is within the human. When the human re-enters Eden consciousness and lets go of the, stops using the brain to maintain the image of a person within them, the brain is now free to interact here and now with the soils of the here and now. When the person is gone, it's like taking the glass out and the tree connects to the soil. Now the tree sees its connectivity to everything around it. It understands its place. It understands its unity, its oneness with the forest and the rivers and the mountains and the sky and the sun and the cosmos. It knows it. And that human who lets go of the inner person knows it too. Now the human carrying the mental character will keep searching and searching from a foundation of separation from that sanity that that brings. And by searching, we see that manifested as our society around us. We see that manifested in what's going on. The endless addiction to entertainment, to computer games, to our own creation. Because the technology that is within us is being sought outside of us now. We're trying to manufacture it. Instead of going within and connecting, we're trying to find it. We're trying to build the best possible world externally instead of realizing the best possible world is in front of you and there's nothing you can do to alter it or improve upon it, acceptance will, will, will nourish you. Surrender will nourish you. And it's not that the human carrying the person only seeks entertainment and worldly things. That person inside that human is tricky. It can also tell you that it's going to seek and search to end the person, to end the mental character. And so it will say, I will only be able to let go of the mental character when I achieve this level of self-improvement. I'll only be able to let go of the mental character once I have this spiritual practice, once, once I've done this, once I've, uh, once I've achieved this. And it will do even self-development as a search. And so it stays as the person searching because the ego does not want to die, ultimately. And so even this human who is realized will have humans chasing realization with the person and that separates them as well. So this is a trap we fall in. But here we can look at this situation and say then, what, so what is going on? How is this the foundation of the problem? Well, this person separated from the unconditioned love and the vast nourishment, contentment, love and peace that is found there. This person is is building around it on a foundation of the chaos of separation. And so this is what we see manifesting generation after generation after generation. You can call it the unintegrated shadow of man, you can call it the 
uh, satanic influence over man, whatever labels you're going to put on it, the, the power of man to be controlled lay in him living with a person inside. And so even those out there protesting, as I've said, against the pandemic, etc., if you were to take away the pandemic, they'd still remain with the person and some other details of a scenario would come to oppress them. And we would revolt against it and say, I don't want this, and we'd be divided because the idea of unconditional love to this person is an idea. It's not an experience. And so you teach them religiously that we must love one another, but it's still an idea inside the person, the mental image. This human who has released the mental character experiences unconditional love coming out of them. They find themselves in that connection to all and this vast amount of love given to them. And so, right now, what is happening on the planet is that human here carrying the person is being misused because the system is not founded on unconditional love. The system is founded on war, inequality, uh, and so on and so forth. This dominant type of human who carries the person will manifest a system of selfishness. If the system was dominated by this type of human, it would manifest a more selfless system. And this is ultimately the issue. Now, beyond there, I've said this over and over as well, the issue is vibrational. This person resides in the highest of vibration for a human, the Eden consciousness, the unconditional love reverberating through them. In that state of consciousness, they are it's very hard for what we will call, you know, in Islam they have the jinn. The jinn live among us in a, their own spiritual realm we can't see and they have their own society, their own world, their own ways of living. In Christianity you have the fallen angels and Lucifer. Certain schools of thoughts call it a higher dimensional species. But this is the reality is Often you wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness in high places. This is what Christ said. The way that we truly conquer that is to live as that person. This is what Jesus said was to be born again. Most people carry on as a human with a brain that's got a mental character, hear about being born again and add that as an idea to the character. Being born again is a full transformation where you are governed by the will of unconditioned love right here, right now. Your memories, uh, your inner character, your inner image, your traumas, your lack of forgiveness, your judgments, they are living here in the person. This one is free of them, just as Christ tried to describe with forgiveness and no judgment, etc. This is the free human. This is the trapped human. This human's vibration is very low. And the faith of my Muslim friends told me the jinn are seen as using humanity like a battery source to, to gain power from humanity by keeping them separated from the love of Allah in a lower vibratory state through their actions and beliefs that are against the love of God. And so, the state of the planet is that you have humans living in the person 
and therefore their vibration is low and they are grabbing at the world to try and find their way they are searching with the mental character to get back to here the society you live in is the result of that because once the person is separated and they start searching then they are, a low enough, they are at a low enough vibration that the, we'll call it the Jinn, that the fallen angels can use them. The fallen angels are separated from the white light of creation, and so they need that connection that we have as an energy source. Ultimately, this is the view that I perceive to be correct as well by now, but don't just sit there as a human being with your mental image of who you are, watching entertainment and believing what I say. Say, I trust John, so I believe it, that's now my reality. You cannot learn that way. You must go away from here and go within and find this truth for yourself. When you are separated from God's love by carrying the mental character within, your vibration is low enough that otherworldly forces can tempt you because you are not fulfilled. And so the temptations can be the expression of the shadow, the temptations of Lucifer, which creates Satan in this world. Lucifer tempts, humanity creates Satan by agreeing. It's a new entity in itself, it would seem. When you are fulfilled and content and full of peace and love, it stands to reason you can't be tempted away. It stands to reason you can't become hooked on the hunger of power and things of this nature. And so, Right now, the core root of the problem is we have a society that is dominated by humans who are living out clinging to the person. And their vibration is low enough that these types of events keep happening. And the society we have and the technology we have is driving us further away from this awakened human state to the degree that we keep searching and searching and now even we're going to have the metaverse. And these humans that are searching with the person will go into the metaverse and they will be even further separated from this natural state. And so they will search even heavier and it will create even more stability around the idea that they are a separate mental character. The lie will continue. The knowledge of the tree of good and evil, the dual state will be more heavily locked in. They'll be so far separated from this state, this awakened here and now state, with things like the metaverse and these false realities, that they will have to search more and that will separate them even further because the person will become stronger because they are so separated from here. And so here you see this perfect trap forming around you because it's the separation from this, the friction of the separation from this is generating the energy. The friction from the separation of the awakened state of the unity with the white light of creation and its infinite love for who we are no matter what we've done or what we what, what our minds has tricked us into believing we are not worthy of we are loved by the grace of that infinite love of the white light of creation the grace is there for us but you cannot guarantee to be aligned with that grace the grace is always there but if you build up the mental image inside you you separate from it you can't feel it it's still there for you, but you can't feel it. And so we will keep on searching as the person. And we will now search in the metaverse as the person. And that will create even more instability in the majority of humanity. And we will separate even further from the state of Eden consciousness. And that separating even further will create more friction, which will feed the Jinn even more, or the fallen ones. And the metaverse will become a... Uh, a, a trap where we persist to keep searching and persist to keep generating these lower vibrations as we do because we will be separated from that surrendered state that awakened state of the white light of creation and so everybody's job right now have you ever examined how you feel when you feel love if you really feel it subtle but you'll feel it it's an expansion you'll feel that expansion in you and when you feel anger and anxiety it's a contraction and you'll feel that now a contracted human is a weakened human they have no manifestational power in this world they are a reactory being they're reacting to something and contracting 
expansive humans that your consciousness expands and it touches those around you and it will cause them to light up and expand as well and expansion is our only option here love is our only option but not like this person's love who has the idea of unconditional love but unconditional love is an experience for self and for other and that is found by awakening and there's nothing you can do as the character you believe you are to awaken and so this is the problem we face this event that's happening is like a hurricane it's it's an event that's arising and you have little control over because the dominant human being which is a participant of nature is living from a separated state which is insane in comparison to this one and so of course this will continue until we have education systems that pause and teach our children right here right now without your memories without the image you formed of yourself without anticipation of the future there is a a space where you can access the will of unconditioned love and it will govern your intelligence and it will build a world which is selfless instead of a world as we have which is selfish but it's coming it's coming it's happening because more and more expanding and the more I expand the more will be lit up and this minority who are doing a lot of the driving of the narratives that we are facing will be seen because once you are in that high vibration once you are in that state of freedom as a human not held back by the inner mental person once you are there you can see through them with ease but the human carrying the person can't because they carry the identity that was fed to them they carry the identity of nationality did it so they crave support and protection from things related to that this human does not this human knows that god's got their back this human doesn't they might think they do if they have adopted a religious identity etc but they often don't act in the law of god they'll go to the law of man and so this is what's going on this is the foundation of the problem and this is where you all of us play our role which is hope in itself because we just have to expand and light up all around us as we do and it feels so good to do that i can't see why we aren't all doing it because we all love to feel love joy and peace <laughs> we all enjoy that we are that we're just hiding from it and feeding a certain force when we do it's time to go home change the vibration of this world it's time god bless guys Mm-hmm.